Ah, uh, yes. Campfire inside the shop. Very nice. Very nice touch. I had a feeling I was going to do that. Should, uh, should burn all the blaster out pretty quickly. I think. Mm hmm. Maybe this is uh, what you should do with a Westchester. Maybe Rusty was right. Mm hmm. So boys, it's been about a week and uh, motors are still hopelessly stuck. So uh, this one here I'm going to heat it up and hopefully I can get the, uh, the PB blaster to evaporate out of it. Then we're going to switch and put some, uh, some ATF or automatic transmission fluid in it. And uh, we'll see what that does. But while it's warming up, I'll uh, keep some pressure on it and you know maybe it'll pop. I kind of doubt it, but one could hope. Alright, I'm going to start moving the torch around a little bit, so uh, I don't get a single hot spot in this, which I probably already have, but... Rotate it around, maybe we'll get her to break free. Hard to say. So, boys and girls, other than the other random clips that you've seen before this part of the Westchesters, I uh, haven't done much videoing on these in about two weeks. I've been letting the motor sit, they're still hopelessly stuck. I uh, brought this frame in about a week ago, which I never really did show on camera, just very vaguely sitting on the trailer, but uh, it's uh, it's pretty beat up, <laughs> definitely had a rough life. You could tell it was a whole tractor and the hood was uh, smashed off of it. Um, the way this thing is bent up, it got hit really hard right here, because the bar for the hood is shoved forward on this side and so is the dash. But this machine, <laughs> other than that, probably would have been a nicer machine. This one, I think, was a little bit older. The uh, the valve cover has gone off the motor out of this one, which is what had the serial number plate on it. So, um, yeah, I think this one was a little bit older. This one still has the trim piece in the center of the steering wheel, so I need that for the other one, at least. This one here, I got the seat working on. I actually sat on this tractor. Before this, I've never sat on a Westchester. Um, running boards are missing. Obviously, you guys saw the motors out of it. Um, and whenever they took this out, they just, I mean, they just cut everything. I think you guys can see the cables good enough there. They just cut it. Looks like they uh, axe cut the uh, gas axe, cut the frame, or the motor out. They did unbolt the, the lift part of it, which is the older style compared to this one over here which has that that hoop that goes the whole way up from there to the front so um yeah so uh i'm gonna flip this up here and then i'll bring you guys back and i'll show you guys the underneath but um yeah the rear fiberglass on this is broke right there so it's not perfect either um broke right there that i see Obviously missing the hood. It's broke right down there. Alright, let me flip this up and I'll show you guys some more. But all the controls are stuck on this. I think the other one, the throttle and choke cables move, but this one, everything is seized. Steering works on this. So, hold on. BRB. So, looking at the underside of this... I originally thought these steering spindles were broke off, but as I can tell now from looking at them, looks like they were gas axed off again. This one especially, you can see it's the melted, melted blob here. Somebody cut through one, two, three. It took that much to heat them off. This one looks like it actually has nuts on the back. This one I could probably get apart, especially since it stood up. That one's already pulled through. I'll probably pull the fiberglass off of these and try and put them in a safe place because yeah they're busted up you know don't get me wrong but it's a whole lot better than the nothing that you have to start with sometimes and if you're good with fiberglass you could fix it I am not good with fiberglass at least at this point 
so uh, yeah, if nothing else, I should have the steering parts I need and a few little trim pieces and stuff. Um, just trying to get the motors brick free. I did. Uh, I heated <laughs> this one. I heated up, and I mean I heated it, and I could still not get it to move. So uh, I got all the blaster out of it, and it's got ATF in it now. So. We'll give that a week or two and come back out here and we'll just keep bumping them. One day it'll come out and it'll just break free. So, yeah. There's not a whole lot to these frames. So, I... I would love to put both of these back together enough to make them run and drive, even if I didn't have a full set of uh, tin work. I have seen people turn these into a walk-behind with steering brakes. But uh, that would be, you know, a, a challenge, at least down the road. So, so anywho, that's, uh, like I said, probably going to be about the last video for this. I, um, I need to start ordering parts and get the 818 in here. I also, I don't know if I'll do it today or tomorrow, but I want to pull that other transmission in and see if it has a good PTO. If it has a good PTO, I might harvest it out for the... Uh, 810 slash 812 project so all right guys i'm not really going to show taking this all apart i'll do it off camera so anyhow thanks for watching catch everybody later all righty boys so i got the westchester where it's probably going to sit for months if not years and uh, up to this point i've never actually sat on one of these so check that out I got to see it a little too far back, but uh, yeah, out of the range, we're in reverse, still doesn't move yet, that could be the cable or the linkage, the shifters are free now, same with the high low gear. Throttle's backwards, idle's up top, pass down below. Hopefully I can cut that out for profile pictures later. So, uh, yeah. That's uh, pretty much going to conclude these Westchesters for right now. I mean, these motors are just almost hopelessly stuck. It's going to take um, months, if not years, to undo the years of rust destruction that's happened to these. And once I get them unstuck, I still don't know if they're any good or not. It's just going to be a... Uh, you know, kind of a hope and hope and poke kind of deal. But uh, yeah, they're uh, they're pretty solid. Um, I got the motor up front. I just basically put the fiberglass back on them because that's a good place to keep them. At least this one. The other one, I think I'm going to tear apart the whole way, and it's going to go in a corner somewhere, take up less space. But uh, otherwise, that's it, guys. So thanks for watching the first attempt of a uh, reincarnation of some Westchesters. I, um, if I started with some better bends a little further ahead. As of right now, I'm not behind further along than what I was. It rolls now. So, uh, yeah. It's gonna be it for right now. Oh, and I did blow the hydraulic hose to the lift cylinder. I tried to make it work with the drill. It had more power than the hose. Later, guys.